hi welcome back to rebecca's travels or if you're watching my lifestyle channel welcome back to rebecca's lifestyle hi everybody i hope everybody um enjoyed the weekend and um the easter bank holiday um hope everybody's as and um, as enjoyed today as much as much as possible um the weather in the uk in the morning it was sunny um in um the afternoon um it's uh, more cloudy and windy um so um again it's not all that hot it's again not too cold but again not all that warm really not not really for this time of year anyway um hi if you're new here to my channel my name's rebecca i love talking about travel and lifestyle please uh, give us um, a thumbs up and subscribe and share and like if you haven't already done so um and um, a big thank you for uh, from myself today i'm going to be doing travel news uk five exciting facts april 2023 part two so i'm going to jump right in with it now number one uh, the mirror uk weather yellow warning over wild winds that could cause power cuts and trap and travel chaos um, despite being mid-April, uh, snow hasn't been ruled out this week, but most will be drowsed with um, showers of rain over the next few days with strong winds um, striking some areas um, for up to 12 hours. So, um again it hasn't ruled out snow anywhere in the uk so it is it is possible mid april um but it's more likely to be windy with showers of rain and um, moving on to number two the daily mail discovered the uk's best holiday park break so i'm going to fire away with all six of them number one best holiday park in the lake district is center parks wine fell forest at from 210 pounds per night and uh, number two best holiday park for a pet owner forest holiday strife uh ben leddy um in scotland from 167 pounds 86 uh, per night at forest holidays and number three um best english river air uh, holiday park botlands bogner regis uh, from 216 um pound per person per night uh, that's on trip advisor on at uh, number four best uh, uh, static caravan holiday park and um, in wales is Jolan Fowler Holidays, Cardigan at Bay, um, £71 per night, um, that's at booking.com. Number five, um, the best holiday park in Norfolk is uh, Spa Class Leisure Resort from £182 per night at uh, tripadvisor.com and last but not least at uh, number six uh, best holiday park in scotland haven craig tara holiday park from 77 pounds uh, per person per night at haven holidays and number three um 
fact a Bournemouth Echo BH active travel hails investment in the A35 through Bournemouth an active travel group has Hey, hold plans to invest at nearly two million in a high risk road and have a, a call for more pedestrian and cycle facilities available for active travel and uh, number four uh, daily mail millions of rail commuters unfortunately face up to 10 weeks of travel chaos as a wobbly railway bridge is closed unfortunately the Noom Han viaduct and is not expected to open until the 10th of June unfortunately the closure cuts off the main line connecting the Midlands to the north of England um, unfortunately um, but again the 10th of June it's going to be back up and running um, again uh, people uh, will have to probably find either coach travel um, as an alternative uh, to get from the Midlands to the north um, or travel by car um, last but not least Bracknell News Go Ape is shortlisted for the best UK attraction in school in the school travel award so well done to um, Go Ape and um, I would like to say thank you for watching and um, I hope uh, you um, have as nice day as possible. Go Ape, by the way, is um, an outdoor um, adventure program for children and uh, adults. Um, so I hope you have a, as good a uh, night as possible. And thank you for watching. I'm going to be watching EastEnders tonight. And... Thank you, love you all and bye for now. Thank you, bye.